Welcome on board Norwegian Encore. We're in a mini suite balcony cabin and this is cabin 14778. If we start our tour with the most important part of the cabin, that is the bed. This bit is huge and it is very, very comfortable. It can be changed into two twin beds or put together to make a queen size bed just like this one. It's one of the best beds I've probably ever stayed in on a cruise ship. Another thing that I think is very important is that there is a USB here on the side of the lamp. There's one of those on both sides of the bed so you can both charge your phones while you sleep or charge whatever you want to charge. There is a reading light here too which is very bright and a very bright lamp there as well. You'll also find a light switch here which turns on some lights around the bed and the other one turns on and off the main lights which is great when you've just got into bed and you don't want to get out to turn the lights off. On this side we've got a piece of artwork. I'm not sure what that is or what it's supposed to be but in the middle of the night when I was staring at this I thought it looked like a sock. Let me know what you think it looks like. I'm not sure if it looks like anything to be honest. I do like the decor in here, I like the style of this cabin, I think it's very nice, it's very modern, it's very clean. I think this cabin might be a little bit on the thin side, either that or the bed is on the long side, because getting around here just feels a little bit squished. No problem, just a little bit squished. On this side we've got my Norwegian Encore flask. I'm currently on the Norwegian Encore inaugural cruise, so this is her first cruise from Germany to the UK, which is really really exciting, it's been a very busy trip. Here we have a remote control, which I think is unnecessarily long. I don't know why it is so long, but it works. That's the main thing. Down here, we've got some space too, where you can put a few little things. We've got a sofa here, which has currently got one cushion on it, my Mia 2 bag, and some Norwegian Encore promotional tote bags. There's plenty of room under the bed where you can put your suitcase. You could put quite a few suitcases under there, to be honest. You can see down here that it is two single beds pushed together because that's the dividing curtain between the two. Ugh. When it comes to curtains, we've just got one curtain, which is a blackout blind. It works really well. It definitely blacks out the room. You'll have a tiny little bit of light up there, I suppose. Maybe a little bit at the bottom, but as far as the curtain goes, it's pretty good. I kind of wish that there was another curtain, something between complete blackout blind and nothing. Some ships will have like a net curtain or a lighter curtain too. Um, but we'll head back out and look at the balcony in a minute. Another piece of artwork here. I'm not even sure what that is flowers maybe it's flowers i see flowers let me know what you see here we have got the wardrobe the wardrobe is huge and we've got a lot of hanging and drawer space so there's lots of drawers on this side we've got a safe which is pretty big i wouldn't be able to fit my macbook in there i don't think but it looks like well it is a new safe because this is a new ship on the other side we have got hanging space lots of new coat hangers there and some space at the top for other things I don't think we actually have any life jackets in here. Normally they're in the top of the wardrobe and they're not here. We've got a laundry bag there too. And this is a lot of coat hangers. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 coat hangers, 10 each based on two sharing. I think that's more than enough coat hangers. Depends how long you cruise for, I suppose. But you can always ask for more. Here we've got a bottle of Just Water. Norwegian have ditched the plastic as much as they can. They're doing their best to be environmentally friendly and I suppose this is just one little way. If everybody on board has a carton instead of a plastic bottle, that is quite a lot. We've got a coffee machine down here too. I'm not a big coffee drinker so I haven't used that one. So down here we've got three US plug sockets and one EU plug socket. I've actually not used these ones at all. I've only used the one over by the bed. You can get adapters and plugs that have multiple USBs on them. This bit up here also has a lip on it. So if you put things up there like a Norwegian pen, it is not going to fall off, which is good. We've got a phone here, which is actually a little bit triggering for me because this is the phone that we have in my office at work. And I come on cruises to get away from work. And this phone is just following me around. You can use it to phone the other rooms free of charge. You can phone room service, spa and salon, restaurants, housekeeping, wake up calls, guest services, and more. So I'm sure it's a very useful phone, but it does remind me of work. Moving down here, we've got a mini bar. Mine is locked at the moment. I'm on a press cruise, so I suppose they don't want me going in there and drinking everything. Down here, we've also got a hairdryer. This is a new and pretty powerful hairdryer. You definitely don't need to bring your own hairdryer on this cruise. This is more than good enough. Both of these are just drawers, so we've got two more sets of drawers here and one up there. I think that's quite a lot of drawers for a cabin this size, considering you've got little spaces by your bed as well to put a few things. I think there's more than enough storage in this cabin. 
up to the TV out, you can move this TV so that it faces the way that you want to. You can do a lot of things with this TV. So you can obviously watch TV, you can watch movies, you can see your account review so you can see everything that you've spent on board. You can see what's going on, you can see what's happening when, you can have a look at all of the restaurants. You can book things like dining and entertainment on here. If you are cruising on Norwegian Encore, make sure you book your entertainment because it books up really, really fast and you definitely don't want to miss out on theatre shows. If you just click on entertainment, it'll come up with the different places where entertainment is going on. There's other things on here too, like the spa, the shopping, the weather. We're having some really quite bad weather at the moment because we're just cruising back from Germany and it is raining and it's pretty gross. If you were to click on what's going on, you can see everything that is happening all over the ship all day, which is really cool. You do get a daily schedule in your room every single day, which details what is happening where, but sometimes it's nice just to have a look on the TV and see what's happening. So this is day two of our cruise and this is our schedule, what is happening today in the morning, the afternoon and the night time. I do sometimes take a picture of the back page of this because it shows you when the restaurants and bars are open. Norwegian do also have an app which is the same really as what's on the TV. So if I have a look on my vacation summary, that is where we're cruising from. We're cruising back from Germany and I've got two items booked today. So I had American Diner for lunch, that is already done. I've got the Texas Smokehouse for dinner and then I'm seeing Kinky Boots later, which I can't wait to see. The balcony itself is a pretty good size. We've got two chairs there and a table. I think if I go out there, I might get blown away because it's really rainy and really, really cold. I'll give it a go, but you're gonna have to bear with me not talking for a few seconds. The door's actually quite hard to open, so don't worry that your children are gonna open it and get out because I'm an adult and I struggle a little bit. There's also another lock up there, so if you lock that, they won't be able to unlock that and that and then pull the door open. If we move on now to this side, we're gonna go and have a look in the bathroom. On the right hand side here, we have got a full length mirror, which is always good. The GoPro does make me look like a bit of a funny shape, but we're not looking at me, we're looking at this cabin. On the back of the door, as always, we've got our emergency instructions and our location of our muster station. The muster station of this cabin is D, which is all the way down on deck eight, and we're just outside the cabin club. Another thing that I like about this room is the makeup room and do not disturb buttons. These turn on little lights that are outside your room so you don't have to leave that piece of paper outside that says makeup room. This little thing down here does control the lights. Strangely enough, they've left you a piece of paper that says to turn on power, push this card down. When leaving the stateroom, pull the card up. Usually you just put your cruise card in there. And if you do wanna keep the electricity on when you leave, I usually just put a gym card in there or any kind of card will work. Here we are in the bathroom and this is one of my favorite bathrooms I've ever had on a cruise ship. The floor space is absolutely huge. I can't believe how big the floor space is here. We've got a toilet on that side and everything you need in a bathroom. And then we've got this massive double sink, amazing double sink. And there's loads of places down here where you can put things. Lots of storage again, storage in there, storage in there. And I'm not really sure what this is. I don't know if that's the bin or what, because I can't find another bin in here. So I'm kind of assuming that's the bin. We've got some towels down there and some hand towels up here. I like how this has got the lip on it as well. So your things aren't going to fall off, which is really cool. And we've got another four glasses in here to add to the two that are already outside and some hand soap, which is good. Norwegian are trying to be environmentally friendly again by not using plastic bottles and by having these refillable body wash and conditioning shampoo things on the wall. They are fine, I usually bring my own, but you definitely don't have to when you're cruising with Norwegian. I'm not sure you can really understand how big this is, but if this floor space was in a lift, an elevator, they would probably say that it fit about eight. <laughs> Whether it does or not, I'm not sure, but that's probably what they would say. The shower itself is very fancy. The shower head has a few settings. So you've got the normal rain shower and then you have these bits in the middle which actually swizzle around. So you don't even have to move when you're in the shower, which is really cool. You can just stand here and let it wash your hair for you. Down here, we've got these things, which are water jets that you can turn on when you're in the shower as well. They're actually really powerful. And if you don't know that you're turning them on, it can be a little bit scary, but here are the settings. So you can either have just two of those on, you can have six of those on, four of those on, the shower plus four of those on, or just the shower. By default, ours was on just shower. And then I was just fiddling around with it. And I found out that there's all these things that come out of the wall. Very cool. 
We also have a washing line or laundry line if you're American up there, which is always useful. And we do have a shower door. None of this shower curtain stuff. It is a proper solid door. Maybe if I stand all the way back here in the corner, you'll be able to see how big the floor space is in this bathroom. It's a very, very nice, new and clean and just smart looking bathroom. That is it from me. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.